All right, let's start the meeting. <clears throat> All right, um, we have to add two warrants. We have $4,393.55, which is uh, just some of the grant pass through money to Pittsburgh Village Farm. And then another warrant for $32,453.63. All right, do we have any need to uh, amend the agenda other than that? Move to accept agenda as amended. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Anything on uh, meeting minutes of January 24th with our regular meeting and liquor board? <coughs> All right, town manager's report. Okay, um, not a lot happened then in January, but... Uh, Met with building construction on the 30th to discuss the schedule and traffic plan for the Bridge 108 project. Um, they're tentatively scheduled to start prepping for the temporary bridge and walkway on March 5th. Um, they will have a public information officer for the project that will be providing updates to the town so we'll be able to help distribute. And they are planning on having a public hearing here sometime in March. Okay. Um, we also were asked to, um, if they were if we wanted to contract with them for some police presence at some of the sites I think they have like 4,500 hours mm, so wow. we negotiated a $65 an hour fee for us to do it so we'll make some money on it and but we're, we're gonna try to set it up where we'll pr see if we can give officers like 10 hours a week to do it you mm. know when they're not on regular duty so they're still covering everything so um, so um, yeah so we figured that was nice they asked us and we were able to do it. yeah, um, yeah. We had two water line breaks on Route 7 North last week up by JR's and uh, Windy Hill. I forget if it's Lane or Hill or what. Um, sent a boil water notice out to the affected properties, and I think we've had the results back now. I'd have to check with Sean, but um, you know it's that time of the year. There's no snow coverage, so the frost is doing weird things, but um, we were able to fix them. So um, submitted the FY25 Class 2 Highway Paving Grant application uh, last week. We're hoping that it will cover the shim and overlay for the two miles of Whipple Hollow. Um, I did say that I submitted a structures grant, which I was hoping to do this week, but we're, I have it on hold because um, I've checked with, I'm got Butch checking in to see if we can use it for the bridge repairs on the Kendall Hill Bridge because it is a Class 2 and we do have, you know, some work that needs to be done mm -hmm. on that. So I'm waiting to hear back from him on that. Um, some more to come with this truck. It's not due until April 1st anyway. Um, we did receive the draft town report, approved it for printing, and they will be mailed out on February 19th. Um, rec news, MyRec is live, or MyRec.com is live now for registrations. Um, <coughs> the Sugar Hollow Ice Bowl actually made more money than we thought for the food shelf. It was $6,800, so that was really nice. a great thing, and that was put on by the folks that do the disc golf. So. Um, <coughs> Ty of Paulding was really big in that, so that was, that was good. It was a good, good thing. we're going to hopefully do it again next year for someone. Yes. Um, basketball season's in full swing. Liz says they're having a great time. <laughs> um, Pittsburgh Rec is participating in multiple tournaments. Uh, planning for baseball and softball season has begun. Uh, we do need sponsors and coaches. We're really lacking volunteers. Um, summer camp this year has been extended to eight weeks from six. Participants per week have increased from 40 to 45, and counselors have been hired, and planning has begun. Um, and Liz was actually asked by the Council on Aging um, if they, they'd offered to cover the cost of training her for Tai Chi, because I heard what, how well the Bone Builders thing has been going. Yeah. So, um, so she's hoping to take it in April and offer classes to all ages as a rec activity. That's cool. Um, I think that's all I have tonight. Yeah, um, that's it, I guess. Okay. Any questions for Dave? All right. Any select board member remarks? <coughs> yeah, I've got, I've got these keys here. I want to bring back. Uh, I've only got a couple more meetings. And uh, they were given to me when I 20 years ago when I joined the board and I hung them on a nail in our china <laughs> closet. <laughs> <laughs> and this is the first time they've been off that nail. <laughs> That's pretty good. They probably don't even put any of the doors I anymore. But I'd like to uh, uh, alert you to I know for sure that the box in this building here will change at least once. Yes. <laughs> so those keys are in there, but they won't work. <laughs> Somebody can figure out where the hell they go. <laughs> okay. 
Yeah. <laughs> Give them to Dan Adams and let him have yeah. more than 20 years. Oh, yeah. oh my goodness. <laughs> Thanks, Thank Jill. Uh, thanks, Jill. <laughs> <laughs> Bet you forgot the code, too. <laughs> I think the little tag's on there. Probably well, on that. Oh, oh, maybe. Well, I, yeah, maybe. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Pass around and get them over they to They give you a lot of keys. You know, this is funny. I don't speaking, even have one. Speaking of keys, oh, no. No? Shelly from the library was here last week. We have some garage. of their stuff yeah. in the basement. There's a table. And she found this skeleton key down there. Send them over. It actually works for all the doors <laughs> inside the library. She, remember, we were there Friday. Wow. And she's like, this key actually works in all the old door locks. Oh, yeah. That's, that's pretty right. cool. It was just laying there downstairs. Uh-huh. <laughs> um, could I make one remark? I, I heard Dave mention, it was probably a month ago, that um, our rec director was having trouble with the school getting in there at certain times. They weren't allowing her in by herself. Yes. Um, I, I think we have to do something about that. Yeah, that she should have dealt with. That, I think we got to put the hammer down, to be honest with you, and say, listen, she needs to be able to go in when she needs mm-hmm. to be in there for the kids, and they can't block her. And right. I don't know what we need to do, Dave, but I think we need to take action it, on it's that. It's been kind of a problem because they make her take everything down after, you know, we had we got those new basketball hoops that are portable, and but she has to clear the room out every time. She has to be there, you know, so she leaves her at 2.30, brings her laptop, works from there. Um, and I told you, too, like, PD's key doesn't work for the school anymore. So, and they had a 911 call and couldn't get in. That's ridiculous. Yeah, that, well, that's, that's that ridiculous. Needs to be yeah, so, <laughs> so, so I don't know what we need to do, but... I actually we talked to, to Brenda about it when Chief's key thing wouldn't work, and, you know, I, I'll then follow then up on that, but... Okay. Yeah, I mean, it is it is becoming kind of a problem because Liz is spending a lot of time down there because she well, they're, they're making her be there. I think you have to ask once if, if if they can't give us what we want, then I think we have to take action somehow through the board. Well, she, she has been – we're trying to talk with Lindsay up at the police academy, too, to see if we can use the, the basketball, mm-hmm. you know, um, court up there more, too, so um, – you know. Well, don't I still think we should have access to this? This yeah. is this is not right. Town hall. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm more ever? concerned about the police not being able to get in the school in, in the daytime if there's an emergency. Yep. That, that's uh, yeah. Plain well, asinine. It was that's what's going to uh, well down is we're going to have they're going to force their way in like the fire department would. Yeah, if they yeah, you're there, damn so, right. That took you know. an to the door. Yep. Trouble yep. is, you got to wait for somebody to get there to do that kind of yep. stuff. Yeah. Yep. And that might be too late. Well, she needs yeah. to be able, she needs to be able to get them in there all the time. She <coughs> Yeah. No, the fire department have a way to get into the school. Oh, we, they did we yeah, get yeah. any door there is, but <laughs> they might not like how we do right. it. Right. <laughs> <laughs> no, the taxpayers. No, yeah, the tax wouldn't be too what happy either. Oh, sure. yeah. All the doors are glass. All you need is a center punch. Yeah. Take no. out the glass and you can walk through any door. Yeah. <laughs> But and I'm sure we'd take out every glass in the building to make sure we checked every room. So they might not like that. <laughs> well, let us know next meeting, Dave, if we yeah. need to take another show. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'll am gonna. i talk to Brent <coughs> again about this. Okay. All right, any other remarks from the select board? No. Uh, any public comment? Um, I had just one thing. I didn't know if it was discussed um, or if there was any way to put out an announcement maybe ahead of meeting day or maybe at meeting day let people know who may not know about the huge tax increase that's coming this year Mm -hmm. 18 to 20 percent is the numbers that i've been hearing just this way you know it's kind of uh we're letting you people know ahead of time that this is coming it's from the state Mm -hmm. because i'm sure people are going to get their tax bills and they're going to be like and flooding the phones what's going on yeah but if maybe an announcement or something can be made just this way more people are aware of it yeah okay yeah thank you uh, wouldn't that be so, a good idea for our representatives to be prepared to address something which well, and yeah and, and will. which will definitely be there so <coughs> yeah, um, I don't know yeah. it's coming and then i know and then i just uh guess you heard it too who, who else we, i just heard on the radio today that um the legislature is looking at even um postponing school board budgets across the state for that reason <laughs> so trying to i guess find a solution to maybe to that it's a tough one joe because we don't the board and us we don't have anything to do with the school right. budget but it is well no i think that's two, the big part two of, thirds you know, of our tax bill yeah. and um you know even town meeting has become separate from school meetings with how things are voted on too so 
Um, so how well that That's a tough one, one for <laughs> us to sell, I think, because it's not. Well, not budget. even to sell or anything. Yeah. Just hey, in case you haven't heard, yeah. this is coming. You know, I'm sure most, well, yeah. that guy that was here <clears throat> last meeting was saying Pittsford actually because of our CLA is going to be like 24 or 25 yep. percent oh, increase. That's, yep. that's crazy. In the school budget, so sure. it's more than what you're here. At least from what he said, right. and he's on the school board, so he should it's have been an idea. Pretty publicized, you know. Right now, Joe, with papers and new, I mean, it's it's a hot topic because the whole state is looking at between what. 13 and 20 percent education increases and yeah you know so hmm. yeah. and we're at we're at like zero or maybe 0.5 yeah. percent this right. is a, well, this is a statewide problem not just a district problem it's a no, statewide state problem, problem. Yeah. yeah god they want to spend like eighteen thousand dollars per student mm. <laughs> is what the claim is yeah all right. Well, we have no old business. Um, new business approval of annual financial plan for highway. So that is just a couple of PD puts their stats in there for the month too. So there's a, so this is the annual financial plan that um, is done every year um, by the state. So um, we just take our budget numbers, what we get for aid from the state for class twos and threes because we don't have a class one and that's the number we came up with so um just the annual costs okay um you should have a you've got the signature page on that one i for some reason don't have it it's not in the yeah yes this? okay yeah thank, okay good good um so just need a motion of approval okay so moved second any further discussion on that I don't know if you're still looking for it. Well, no, I see it. <laughs> okay. well, I was right. just trying to find it. Yeah. Okay. Um, all in favor say aye. 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 Um, approval of certification of compliance for town road and bridge standards. So this is another annual one that says that we follow the state's road and bridge standards mm -hmm. when we're doing it. Yep. Yep. Okay. Which is how we get grant funding. So. Right. Same thing with that. Just need to like board adoption on that too. Is that back in? Should be right after that. It's on the back side of it. Oh, that's what's on the back side. Right. You've got this page and then this. Yeah. Oh, I see what she I got. Aha! Uh -huh. Now that's making sense to me. There. Uh, motion to approve the certificate of compliance for town roads and bridge standards. Second. You second. All, all in favor say aye. 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 All right. <clears throat> GMP notification of pole and wire locations. Um, <laughs> this Which they, right, it says they're looking for permission. What if we don't give it to them? I would like no. to not give that to them. <laughs> what happens? <laughs> I don't know where can we stop them. I don't think well, we have to give permission. Can't. They can override, I guess, our yeah. lack of permission. But I get the drift. I have you heard anybody specifically from GMP contact you and ask ask for us to? Susan Eckhart dropped this off to Helen last week. Okay. And I did not talk to her. So. All right. So really, there's not much to do about it right now. Just so that we're we just need to all be aware <laughs> that this is a potential happening. I mean, technically, it's going to look better because the. Mast arms won't be out and the wires will be tighter, so yeah. but um, they'll be higher up so they'll be harder to see. Right. But I mean they're looking for select board <laughs> yay or nay. Too bad on we could bury so. the lines. That'd even look better. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. Well so that's what I'm saying. Are we expected to vote on this or is this something that just for us to be aware of? No, they on the back page they want you to vote on it. There's a okay. whole authorization at <coughs> the bottom. So All right. There's a lot of legal ground, that's huh? gone into that. What? There's a lot of legal that's gone into that. Oh yeah, I'm sure. Well. You need a motion for that? Well, <laughs> yeah, let's at least if we get a motion I'll a second, a we motion, can discuss we it. Cooperate with them, give them permission. I'll oh. second that. 
Okay. I would like to not give them permission. <laughs> All right. We're going to vote in a minute. We're going to vote in a little bit. But we probably ought to. I'd yeah. like to see them bury the lines. Everybody. I know. I just, and I think that it'd be nice if somebody had actually <coughs> come and explained this. The, the schematic is not very good. It's not very good. So. Well, it looks like all they're doing in this last paragraph, or second to last paragraph, the poles are going to be roughly 10 feet higher, and the spacer cables will be on there, which will compact the wire. And then, as Dave said earlier, they're using um, covered wire. So. I, overall, it should improve the ser service, I would think. That shouldn't look any worse no, than it does no. now. I think aesthetically it would look better, but it's, it's really your guys' better. decision. So. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Well, I in the authorization, it says that the select board finds that the cutting and trimming of the trees within the highway right of way is necessary for construction, co operation, and maintenance of the lines. Yeah, typical easement language. <coughs> yeah. We might be asking them for some stuff a few years down the road with some Route 7 projects, just an FYI. So. Well, who else are you going to ask? They got the lockdown. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's not yeah. like a choice. <laughs> yeah, I guess they'll do it. Well, uh, all right. All in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed? Nay. Nay. All right. Uh, sidewalk paving with asphalt quote. Okay, so Chad and I got two quotes for to finish the sidewalk on Route 7 basically from Kamuda's down to Depot Hill I guess that's roughly where it is um, oh so headed north yes yeah so, yeah. Okay. so you know just throwing the two bids at you as you see Pike is you know seven thousand dollars less mm -hmm. for Dave the is that doing on the side two by the little park there the village green? both sides yes okay we'll say because that's so it is by the bad. village green yes yeah and oh okay actually we let me confirm that but i believe yeah. so because chad and i went and looked at it and that um, really needs it and we yeah. did talk to one of the land i can't think of the guy's name he was super super nice about getting it done there because like a tree the roots have pushed one of it up yeah. and everything and so yes yeah. yeah. we'll, we'll make see. sure we'll, we'll make sure it gets done yeah, yeah. It okay. done. also in that section um and i'm they'll know when they start digging it up but there's some beautiful pieces of marble underneath oh, that yeah. asphalt there actually is. that's crumbling Yep. So it, it might crumble more when it gets pulled out, but mm -hmm. we'll see what happens. Just saying it should be a yep. attempt to be saved would be great. Um, all right. Uh, I'll make a motion to approve Pike. Second. All in favor, say aye. 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 That'll be good to get our sidewalks yeah. done. Yeah. No. Safer. Yep. Yep. Yeah, we'll and I will be submitting um, the eleven eleven permit to get our speed signs and I forget what the letters are the acronym for the flashing beacons at the crosswalk at in front of Kamuda's. Oh great. Uh, the the yep. state put the poles in so that we wouldn't have to buy those to attach the lights to. So the poles are there right now? They're there. Yeah they have the signs on them now we're just gonna oh, put the lights I see on them. Yeah, yeah they okay. did they put new signs up after we did that walkthrough. Okay. So um I, I didn't notice. So I'll be submitting that. We figured we'd wait till spring to put stuff up just so they'd be yeah. one less winter of getting beat up. So, <laughs> well, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yeah. And is Isaac with us? Oh, that's is right. Nobody? No. I, get that. I thought he was going to be here, yeah. but I guess not. So okay. It's all right. It's pretty straightforward stuff. Anyway. Yeah. All right. So, um, all right. Then all we have left is uh, orders and payroll. Anybody have any questions on any of that? I guess, so why are we paying the town of Brandon for soccer? So would we work with them on the soccer? What's the... I'd have to ask Liz what that one's for, but they are, no, they're working with like three towns with the soccer thing this year, so... Oh, okay. Yeah. So maybe they're, they're doing it and we're just chipping in money for whoever... I, I heard this year the older kids are going to be playing the different teams around the area, so that might be something to do with that. Yeah. Yeah. I know that we're trying to include like West Rutland and Rutland City and stuff now too. Okay. So they had a meeting a couple weeks ago about it. Um, 
So we'll be hosting games here too. But I can certainly ask Liz. I'm sure it was for, it says for fall program, so. That's a record. Everybody I know. Run. All right, let's get signing. <laughs> Did you guys make a motion to approve the agenda? Oh. The warrants? I don't think so. We don't, we don't ever do we that. Don't no. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> no, the approval is by no. signatures. Oh, yeah, it's approved by signature. How about for you, Kelly? <laughs> Give a program, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> I refuse to. And you're just gonna like it. What? You heard me. No, I didn't. I said you're just gonna like it. Hey, quiet. There's an awful lot of paper for an awfully short meeting. I know it. That was like the shortest thing ever. Well, yeah. we've got a couple of other things left. Well, Do you think Jeff will be here on time or is he Somebody just down pulled the hall? In. Mm -hmm. um, we all got signed this one? You should be sitting here. Me? I like your signature. Huh? I like your signature. <laughs> yeah, it won't be twice, same way twice. <laughs> That's mine. <laughs> it's a good thing traveler's checks aren't a thing anymore because they would never think it was me twice in a row. If you want to date that, always check. Sure. What is it? Seven. You guys are signing. How does everybody feel about not sitting on the stage at the town hall for town meeting and sitting on the floor with the tables? I like the floor myself. Yeah, find <laughs> me. still facing the audience. Right. No, we no, back, back to him. <laughs> hey, with ding dong. <laughs> hey. Oh, I'm just checking. I mean, he jumped on you, didn't he? Yeah. Put, a, put a blanket on. You okay with that, Joe? Well, if you're on the stage, you can see who's in the audience. <laughs> So, so we're we're thinking we're gonna use the PA system that the fire department has and get a couple wireless microphones or one wireless microphone. So when people talk for a question, yeah. well, they can talk into it. So you guys, so everyone can hear. Told you that one of mine was like that. We've got to record it. So, but we can't video it because people vote from the floor. So, we, but we can audio record it. So. Mm -hmm. A lot of times you can't hear who's talking. Yeah. Yeah. I know, and didn't we talk about getting like a couple young people to run around yeah. microphones? Yeah. People have it's questions. A that's a good job for them. I know. Yeah. I'm oh hoping yeah. to have yeah, yeah. Robert Clark from Otter Creek Engineering here at least remotely for the next meeting to talk water line and actually Plains Road sewer because okay. we're hoping to get the bids out on that at the end of the month. But I just yeah, wanted I him to, you know, you fill you guys in on what was going on out there. So, yeah, okay. Um, Yep. Quiet in here. It's like church. Get that way once in a while. Yeah. Like church. <laughs> Usually that's about two minutes be. before we I'm start. Right <laughs> yeah, that's usually yeah. when it happens. Yeah. And, uh, when we're signing and we run out of things. Just I'm going to put some music on in my office so we can... <laughs> a little no, mood music? No, mm -hmm. That's okay. Background noise, I can't hear anything, so... Um. It's 
Mark would like it. I got to know Dave's picks this week, so I've been playing that. 85 show. Good time zone. I think I heard them advertising that. I'm a sucker for those darn subscriptions. <laughs> That's why I kept Sirius in my car when the trial oh, ran out. I hate Sirius. I, Do you? It What's goes so out. You weird. know, when I was on the road a lot, like, it just go out all the time. Oh, mine never goes out. Oh, mine out. never goes out, but it's really? so expensive. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. I, mean, I just waited for them to... Four dollars <coughs> a month for a year, and it's three hundred dollars a year. Oh, oh no, you just let it lapse and they'll call, and you can get them at the No, you cancel it. I have seven thousand Cancel it. That's what I do. You'll get it for the... Get it back for... Yep, that's what we do. Yeah, well, just, as you can tell that we are done with our meeting since everyone has moved on to talking about serious radio. <laughs> <laughs> we need a motion to adjourn. No, wait. So <laughs> move. Yeah, so move. Second it. Second. Whatever. 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 What